Jerry at Fair Oaks. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Oh, wait a minute, Lee. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, take your time. I don't have to. I'm through now. Boy, we really had a swell practice session today. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Alden put us through our paces. Well, how's it going? Okay. Say, who's riding in the open spot on the team? A cadet named Ed Williamson. Oh, yeah, I know him. Swell rider. Not quite as good as Paul, but he's okay. Hey, where are you bound for? General Benz. General Benz? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's the matter with you? Want to get about ten demerits slapped on you for wandering off bounds? No, but Captain Gardner said it's all right. He said we should go out and tell General Ben that Red's coming along all right. I can go, too? Oh, sure. Oh, swell. Say, I heard the gold team won the treasure hunt. Mm-hmm. Say, so come on, let's cut across this way, down to the boathouse. Sure, we have to pass it anyway. Hey, what was the treasure? Well, I didn't hear yet. The fellows who got it got in late. We'll hear about it at mess tonight. Well, I'm glad our team won. But I would have liked to have been there when it was found. Yeah, so would I. But I guess we found something ourselves. You said it. Boy, it's lucky for Red that we were going along that way. He might have stayed in that well all night. Say, can you imagine a fellow doing something like that? I wonder what he thought. Well, I guess it's all fixed up for him, though. He's going to stay here at Fair Oaks. Hiya, fellas. Oh, hello, Mike. Hiya. So you never did finish telling me what Major Davis said to you. Well, he told me about Don Craig being just like Red, and he turned out to be a regular fellow. Now he's got a football field named after him here at Fair Oaks. Hmm. I always said maybe Red would turn out okay, but it's going to take a lot of turning. Well, maybe this is the turning point. Hmm. And here's where we turn in for the boathouse. Yeah. I. What's the matter? Look out there. Out where? To Woodman's Island. Look at the shack. Well, I'm looking. What's the matter? Gee, I... I was sure I saw smoke coming from the old chimney. Smoke? Oh, no, that couldn't be. I guess not, but I... I thought I saw it. Might have been smoke blown across the lake from the powerhouse smokestack. The wind's going that way. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Well, come on this way. We'll cut in front of the boathouse. No use going around it. No, we'll go to the dock. Dock? What for? To get a boat. Boat? Why? So we can get to General Ben's cabin. Well, I thought we were going to walk. Mm -mm. Captain Gardner said we could use his outboard. Oh, I dog, that's well. But can you run an outboard? Sure, I've run his before. My, my, aren't you accomplished, though? Cadet Lee Phillips, pilot of the good ship, uh, whatever its name is. <laughs> Cut the kidding. Now, there's the boat and the slip. See, I, I guess I'm seeing things, but I, I thought I saw smoke coming from that shack again. Well, let's wait a minute and see. We're in no hurry. No, no, I think you're mistaken, Jerry. I can't see any sign of smoke. Not now. Just once in a while, I think I see a little puff of it coming from the chimney. Well, come on, pile in the front, Jerry. Yeah, okay. Hey, boy, whoa, 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 don't you know how to get in a boat? Well, I'm not a sailor, Mr. Phillips. Okay, then don't make me a swimmer against my will. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Well, I'm settled. Oh, wait till I get the painter off. Painter? Yeah, the rope that fastens the boat to the dock. Yo! Sixteen men on the dead man's J.S. We're out for the Spanish main. Cast off, Captain Phillips. Look, if you don't sit still out there, you'll have us over the side. Hey, grab hold of the end of the dock and guide us out. Eh, how's this? Mm. Eh. Well, as soon as we're clear, I'll start the motor. Eh. All clear in front. Right. Okay, hold tight. If we swing back to the dock, shove us off. Hey, what's the rope for? Well, I wind it around the fly wheel like this. Take hold of the handle on the end of the rope like this. And give a yank like this. Well, 
that, that's okay for exercise, Cadet Phillips, but I, I thought you were going to do something about starting the engine. Sarcasm, huh? Well, it has to get warmed up. I'll give it another try. Hey, maybe we could have walked and saved time. <laughs> Hold your horses, will you? <clears throat> Whoa! Hey, we almost jumped out of the water. Well, that's better. Okay, we're off. Say, you can really make time in one of these things, can't you? Sure. We'll be at General Benz in no time. Hey, steer close to the island. I, I want to give the shack a good look. Still think you saw smoke? Not now, but I just want to get a close look at the place. Oh, wait till we're on our way back. We'll have more time. Oh, all right. Say, we're really cutting through the water. This is about five times faster than walking. Mm-hmm. Say, so you want to try to steer? Oh, I don't know. Better wait until I watch you for a while and kind of get on to it. Oh, there's nothing to it. You just push this handle right if you want to go left, and push it left if you want to go right. Backwards, huh? Mm, yeah. The pressure of the water on the rudder throws the boat in the opposite direction. Say, where'd you learn so much about boats? You must have taken this out a lot of times. No, not more than two or three times. And you learned all about it? Well, no, I, I knew a little bit about boats before I came to Fair Oaks. You did, huh? Well, where'd you learn it? Oh, I... My dad used to have a boat, a sloop. A sloop? Well, what's that? What's one of the different kinds of sailboats. A and your dad had one? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what'd he do with it? Has he still got it? Uh, no. No, dad's dead. Oh, I... I see. We had to get rid of the boat. We? Mm-hmm, mother and I. Oh. Where's your mother, Lee? I, uh... Well, she's dead, too, Jerry. Gosh, then, I mean, well, we're both in the same boat, I, I mean... <laughs> yeah, we're both in the same boat, in more ways than one. Hey, we're almost past General Ben's place. I'll pull around. Here we go. Boy, you can really handle this thing. Okay, watch it when we head in, Jerry. I don't want to crash in the bow. Okay. Hey, there's a swell place right there, Lee. We can run her up on the shore. It's sandy, and he won't get wet when we get out. Right. I'll give her the gun a little and then pull up the motor so we don't follow the propeller. Okay. Yeah, I guess you got up enough steam to carry us in. Perfect. Just enough steam to land us. All right, hop out up there, Jerry. Grab the painter and tie up on that tree right there. Yeah, I got you. Tie it on. Okay. It's all tied up. Swell. Huh. That's keen the way that motor can be lifted out of the water. Mm-hmm. Has to be made that way, or when you get in shallow water, the propeller would be fouled. Well, there's General Ben's place through there. Yeah. I guess he's home. His door's open. Gee, I wonder if he'll be grumpy. <laughs> there's one way to find out. Come on. It's a wonder he doesn't have a path down to the lake. You've got to make your way through these bushes. <laughs> I guess when he wants privacy, he wants it. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> That's General Ben. He must be in a good humor. Mm, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> At least he sounds like it. Mm, looks like we came on a good day. But all the same, we'd better call to him first. Yeah. Hello, General... Corporal Dand! Guess he didn't hear you. I... Huh. I guess he did. He stopped singing. Hello! Who's that a holler and not discuss you? <laughs> Jerry Dugan and Lee Phillips. Well? It doesn't seem very cordial. Don't stand there and shout at me. Come on, come on. Okay, we're coming. Well, what brings you lads all the way out here? Well, we came by a boat, Corporal Dent. Boat, huh? Wonder you didn't sink yourselves. We came to tell you about Red Morrison. Oh, the one that fell in the well, huh? Mm -hmm, yeah, he's okay now, Corporal. Oh, good, that's fine. And ain't nobody else gonna fall into that well. Put a stout cover on it, I didn't. Clamped it down. Well, say, that's swell. Say, was that you singing? Was it uh, singing me? Horn, toads, no, I never sing. Well, it, it sounded like you. Now, look here, lad. When I say I wasn't a singing, I wasn't a singing. Yes, sir. Uh, what was a singing? Well, we, we didn't know the name of the song. Then how'd you know I was a singing it? Well, we I, thought... Uh, you, well, <laughs> <laughs> just look at their faces. Like a pair of rookies caught out of camp without pass cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, come in, lads, come in. In your cabin? Well, where else could you come into? Sure, in the cabin. Well, come on, come on, come Gee, on. Gee, well, well, don't you want to come in? Oh, sure we do, Corporal Dent. We've heard all about it. Oh, a lot of trash like it's not. That's all about what you heard. Oh, no, no, we've heard about all the, the valuable things you have. Oh, and you think you're going to get a look at them, huh? Well, you are. Come on in. <laughs> you bet we will. 
Come on, Lee. Uh huh. Right in this way, lad. <laughs> Been a long time since Benjamin Franklin Dent has had the honor of having company in his place. Just make yourselves to home, lad. Right to home. Gee, gosh, Corporal Dent. It sure is different inside from what it is outside, isn't it, Lee? No, sir. <laughs> I always said you can't tell the depth of the well by the length of the handle on the pump. <laughs> Look at those rugs. Uh, oh, them on the wall, you mean? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, lads, if them rugs could talk, what stories they'd tell. Yes, sir, come all the way from Turkestan, they did. Turkestan? That's what I said. Now, don't tell me you ain't learned where Turkestan is. Oh, yes, yeah, we know all right. Mm. Them uh, rugs there on the front wall come from Samarkand. You know where that is? Hundreds of years ago was the capital of Tamerlane, the Mongol conqueror. I bet you them rugs felt his feet on them, and the tramp of his soldiers coming into the palace. Gee, you sure know a lot, don't you, Corporal Van? Uh, know a lot? Listen, Jerry, no matter how long a man lives, he can't know a lot, because every time he finds out something new, that means he's got to learn something else to fit in with what he knowed before. Nobody can know a lot. You just remember that, and you'll never get into any trouble. Hey, what's this knife here hanging on the wall? That, oh, that, that ain't no knife, lad. It's a melee crease. <laughs> when you hear one of them things swinging around your head, then you want to make peace with everybody. See, the blade's wavy like that so it cuts better. The handle's real pure ivory. Oh, uh, come on over here by the door. You see this little uh, statuette? Mm-hmm, yeah. That, that once stood in the Black Pagoda in India. All tales they tell about it bringing bad luck to anybody who owns it. But you got it now. I mean, well, aren't you afraid of it? Pish tosh, lad. Man needn't be afraid of anybody but himself. You know, they say when you pick up this little statuette and look at it real hard, you're going to have an adventure. <laughs> say, can I pick it up? <laughs> Looking for adventure, Jerry? Sure. Can I pick it up, Corporal Dan? Go ahead, Jerry. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, it's heavy. Well, I'm looking at it real hard, and I don't feel any different. <laughs> Maybe you just aren't looking at it right. I guess not. Hey, oh. look. Oh, lad, you scared me out of my skin. What's the matter? Look over on the island. That is smoke coming from the chimney of that shack. Why, it is. Oh, that's funny. Ain't nobody ever been in that shack to my recollection. Wonder who it is. So you were right before, Jerry. See? Now the smoke stopped. Lee, you want to go over and take a look? Well, I, uh... Jerry, put down that statuette. Oh, not that I'm superstitious or any of that rot, but I... I... Lee, let's go over. We can get over in a couple of minutes with the outboard. Okay, I'm game. Well, I'm kind of curious myself. I'd like to know what kind of a person would be in that shack. It, uh, well, it's kind of mysterious. (laughs) 